So how are you doing, Craig? I'm doing all right. Tired. Tired. Let me turn the volume down just slightly. Okay. All right. So Jessica said you had, you were fired up. You had a passion to talk about the Sepco Megometer, which is something I've never heard before. Someone had a passion to talk about the Sepco meter. So what's the deal? All right. I, I sent, I sent you some pictures. I saw those pictures. Uh, you were testing thermostat wire. Yes, yes. So when you have a communicating system that has intermittent communication problems, it'll drive you insane. Um, what I've done is that Subco, you can take all the thermostat wires apart, like we'll say at the outdoor board and at the indoor board, and then you hook it up to two thermostat wires and you push the button. If it says on and it's green, those wires were good for communication. If it's yellow and red, it won't communicate. And if it's just in the green area, but not on the on, you can have intermittent communication problems. It is amazing at finding intermittent communication faults because of thermostat wire. So you're using the subcode to test just uh, how much resistance is in each one of these wires on, you're talking about high level systems. Yes, yes, on communicating systems. Interesting, so people having, well, a lot of people have that issue, uh, communication failure, and it's very vague. It's like, well, okay communication failure so how did you come up with this oh years ago um there was a guy that was talking to us about omen everything out uh it was a carrier uh, a carrier gen i can't remember his name and uh he talked uh he talked about that subco and he you know he's like you know this is what you need to do and i i started so i went and bought one and because everybody's like it's garbage it's crap and i bought one and i started using it and it it works like a champ it is it is one of my favorite tools on my truck. Okay, so explain again how you're using this thing and why you don't use you're not using the multimeter, you're using the mega meter. Explain why. Okay, cuz uh it cuz um you can have ohms uh on your on your regular meter and it's good for 24 volts, so it doesn't show you anything. But if you take the thermostat wires off at the outdoor board and at the indoor board or at the indoor board in the thermostat mm -hmm. and you have them totally disconnected on both ends and you just clip it to two different wires and you keep going through the bundle until you can find two wires that are good for communication um and or if you have all bad thermostat wire and you need to replace it so this sounds like you're finding something that's theoretically shorted out you're trying to prevent that yes yes because you're, you're having grounding issues and that's why you're losing the that's why you're having intermittent communication faults. Oh man, I, I, I'm, I'm down with that. I've experienced that in my personal life, having grounding issues with a communication system. Um, that, that's interesting. Okay, that's a good way to use that sucker. So I don't think it's like a, because they were saying it's a scammy little product and I understand why sort of they're saying that, but I think it's like, it's a good little tool for what it is, is what I think. That's the only thing I use it for, but because, you know, you know, you go to a communication, um, communicating uh, system and you have intermittent faults, man, that'll, that is, uh, that is one of the most, when I, when I first started working on communicating systems, that was like the, uh, that was the worst call to get. You were just like, you know, how am I going to figure yeah. this out? It works and it don't, it works and it don't. <laughs> yeah. um, and, uh, <laughs> yeah. and uh, that subco has made it to where I never have, I love, I get that call. I, I'm going to, I'm going to leave with that unit either working because I found two good wires or I'm going to be able to know that I need to replace the thermostat wire to make it work. So here's, here's my follow-up to that. Cause I've never used it for that. So if you're talking about communicating wires, all right, you have a thermostat wire and you're measuring it and it's green, you know, it's good. Now when it's up in the green, you're talking about a very high resistance relative to like just measuring each end of a wire. So it doesn't yeah. take a whole lot of uh, like you say in the yellow it's going to have issues well even even in the green i can sometimes have intermittent issues it has to it has to just say on if uh, like if you push it in there and you have the two ends apart mm -hmm. it'll just the, the on green light will show up if it's in the yellow or red you're going to have it, it's there it's you're not going to really communicate at all sometimes in the yellow you'll get intermittent but it's in the green bar that you can still have intermittent uh communication faults you have to be able to push it and it just light up the on light oh so it. it's going straight off the chart okay yes 
So yes, if it's straight off the chart, you're going to have you're going to be able to communicate. If it's uh, anything else, you can have intermittent or no communication at all. So at times when you find it in the yellow or the red, uh, let's, let's say the yellow. Have you ever been to been able to visually see a problem with the wire? No, no, because it, uh, it uh, if it's going from the thermostat to the air handler, it could be in the attic. Yeah. If it's going to the outdoor unit, it could be in the chase under the ground. I'm just wondering, because, you know, if you have 40 mega ohms, that's a lot of resistance still. So you're yeah. talking about something that's causing interference at 40 mega ohms. I don't even, I would think that you could even tell just by looking yeah. at it. Uh, it, uh, it, I, I, I never, I, I never tried to look at it to find it. It, uh, sometimes you'll find that, uh, when you get in there, you'll dig it up and you'll find that somebody spliced the, uh, uh, the thermostat wire in the chase and buried it. That happens. Oh, that's a good, yeah. That, that, yeah. yeah. So it, uh, so sometimes that's what's causing it. But that, uh, the thing is, is with that subco, I can always get a, if, if I can find two wires, I can make that thing communicate or I know I need to replace the thermostat wire. I like and, that. and I, and I love that tool. There's no more guessing. 